guys, this is Latoya Yvette here, and I'm coming to you with a day two of the healing process of my self-did Ashley piercing. Y'all, I pierced my Ashley um, yesterday. Today is Monday, the 23rd, and I pierced it the 22nd of December. And it has been 24 freaking hours, and y'all, this is just day two. So yesterday when I pierced it, like I said, I did it myself. I used a 16 gauge needle, and my um, jewelry is 16 gauge as well. And then I looked it up, because yesterday I didn't know, but today I looked, like I said, I looked it up. The length of my jewelry is 10 millimeters, so... It gives it some wiggle room, as you can see. Let me turn to the side. It gives it some wiggle room for swelling. And yes, my lip is still swole. But yesterday, it was worse. Like, oh my God, it looked like I had Botox or something. Like, your girl had a fat lip. <laughs> like, I am not playing. So... 24 hours with me eating and drinking y'all straws are your best friend the only reason why i'm making these videos because it's not that many videos about this piercing and that's why i want it because it's not that common especially where i'm from because that's why i had to do it myself because they didn't do it at the shop so i got all the tools and utensils and i did it myself i made sure everything was sanitized and everything everything was not open the needles was not open at all so I did it myself because I really want this piercing. I don't like having what everybody has, and I know it's really, really rare, rare in my town. So I did it myself. But anywho, straws. Straws are your best friend because, like, when you drink, like the piercing is right there, and right now it's still healing. So straws are my best friend these last 24 hours. With me eating, I'm not eating like heavy, heavy stuff like to bite on or whatever. I mean, like, soft stuff, like bananas. Not saying that you can't, but I'm not a G like that. So, I don't want to, like, irritate this piercing because it's just got done. So, I'm eating, like, bananas and, like, probably eggs, scrambled eggs and stuff like that. Um, Before I did it, I did have a big meal. I had Taco Bell, so I was full of the rest of the day after eating my Taco Bell. And I just did my piercing, like, brushed my teeth gargle with um alcohol free mouthwash and i pierced myself so as far as my care that i'm doing what is that <laughs> as far as my care that i'm doing i'm still using the, the alcohol free um mouthwash and then i'm using like a salt rinse just some um sea salt and some warm water and i'm taking a clean q-tip and i'm like scrubbing it around the front part of it and then i'm taking like a shot glass a clean shot glass i don't drink but i have a shot glass and i'm filling it up with the um warm salt water and i'm like putting it on there so we can like you know soak a little bit and like i said i'm gargling with alcohol free mouthwash so we'll see how that go like i said it's only been 24 hours so We'll see how that process go. And why my lips so shiny. Y'all, my lips is dry as ever. Like, oh my God, I couldn't take it. So I have some coconut oil. I don't know if y'all can see. Coconut oil is natural. I mean, some people use Carmex and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to be as natural as possible. And I'm putting it like on my top lip and like around the sides. It's glistening like right there because I have like a blingage piece of jewelry you know what i'm saying and this ring light is like making it glow but i'm not putting nothing around the area or whatever and yeah last night i had a little bit of pain i took ibuprofen right after i did the piercing and then i took it again like last night when i was at work and that was like maybe a nine hour period between the two right now i'm at the pain level is like a zero and the last time I took meds was like maybe I work overnight, so it was probably maybe um I'm gonna say eleven thirty last night. So that was the last time I take took meds. So yeah, 
so far so good the swelling has went down a lot because it was fat y'all it was the biggest ever and with me talking like yesterday i was on the phone talking to my sister and it got caught on my tooth a little bit not much like like way yanked it but just a little bit and that was like really really uncomfortable so i'm trying to watch how i talk right now because like i said it's still swollen as you can see like this area right here is still swollen i got a big fat lip i mean i got a fat bottom lip is what i'm trying to say but i can tell that it's a little bigger than what it's normally <laughs> normally is but yeah i just i'm not gonna do everyday updates with this i'll probably come back in like another week about the update after today but so far so good 24 hours it's been going well i really love the piercing i love the pictures of the people that i was seeing with the piercing like i said it's not that much stuff on youtube to google about it and i was gonna do the piercing on my channel but yeah good thing i didn't because that video would have been like piercing gone wrong <laughs> to do it twice the first time my jewelry wasn't long enough so i had to take it out and i couldn't get the longer jewelry in without the needle you know how you got to feed the jewelry through the needle yeah so i had to get another needle and puncture the same wound <laughs> so my healing process might be a little longer i don't know it probably won't but i don't know what i hit going in the second time so <laughs> to get the longer jewelry in but yeah so far so good like i said the pain level is a zero right now and i don't know how it's gonna be later and i've been talking and stuff all night i actually ate a snickers <laughs> but before that i had like some eggs and a banana but i wanted a snickers so i ate a snicker i was just breaking it off put it in my mouth <laughs> i wasn't biting into it because like i said i don't want to irritate this site but yeah so far so good for the first 24 hours and I did it because I wanted it. I really wanted this piercing and nobody did it here. Like, oh my gosh, and I didn't want to wait. So I did it myself. So yeah. I mean, like my the people that I was telling I was doing myself, they was like, You finna pierce yourself. I'm like, dude, piercers have degrees in piercing. Like, I don't <laughs> I know they probably get certified or whatever. But it's not rocket science. I work in the medical field just sticking a needle in you i mean i wouldn't recommend kids do it please don't go out just puncturing yourself i'm not saying go out and do it but what i am saying is sometimes professionals mess up too you know what i'm saying i've heard a lot of horror stories about people going to get piercings and it's gone wrong so yeah if i'm gonna mess something up i want to do it myself that way i don't have to sue anybody for messing something up well, i guess that's why you fill out the forms so <laughs> But anywho, I pray that this healing process continue to go well. I hope this swelling go down by tomorrow. I'm praying. Y'all, I've been eating ice like it's casseroles. That's another thing. Ice is your friend. Yes, I have been chewing on ice. Like, as soon as I did the piercing, I went and got an ice pack. I made an ice pack. And then I was, like, drinking ice water. I'm drinking ice water all night, with the exception of me, like, eating that banana and stuff and that and the eggs. But that's what I've been drinking all night. Like, I'm on a fast or something, just ice all night. And it's your friend. Like, that's probably why my swelling ain't as bad as it is. I mean, I have it, but it could be worse. You know what I'm saying? Because I have been chewing ice like it's a meal like it's for real <laughs> and then in my job we got that like crushed ice people call it hospital ice but uh, <laughs> so it's like awesome sauce and yeah but this is my little bill so far so good but i'm really pleased with it i'm glad i did it like y'all i'm my pain tolerance is not high at all so for the fact that i did this myself and the pain level was just like a three it wasn't that bad when i did it i heard my skin popping that was like cringy but <laughs> but it wasn't that bad so yeah i'm not saying i'm gonna be pierced myself all the time i just really wanted this piercing so i did it myself and it's over and done with but that's my video for the first 24 hours of my ashley pierce and i'm just trying to like put something out there because there's not much out there about it and the stuff that i did see it's not you know what i'm saying 
it's helpful i guess but yeah it's not a lot of stuff out there about this piercing and that's why i wanted it because it's unique and it's cute and it's blingage on my lips and my lips are already big so now i get a little focal point <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys find this video helpful and like i said i'm gonna come back in like another week to update how it's gone in a week or whatever with this piercing and i might keep it for a while I'm glad that like my lip is the well the jury is accommodating the swelling because that would have been terrible <laughs> but I hope you guys have a blessed day like comment subscribe share this video if you want talk about it whatever in the comment section and I hope you guys have a blessed day and Merry Christmas because by the time I come back it's gonna be after Christmas so I hope you guys have a blessed Christmas and I love you guys talk to you later bye bye